we met in 2000 in college, and we have been best friends for 16 years. Yeah. Oh, college, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We met. I was a, a senior at, at. We were. We went to Georgetown, and I was the uh, director of the improv group. And then uh, John auditioned. <laughs> <laughs> improv. John, uh, John auditioned, and uh, I immediately uh, fell in love. Yeah. <laughs> Well, can't you say if it's a phrase or an object? Is that? Oh yeah, sorry. I have no idea. I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> that would be great. This would be fantastic. Okay, Nick, great. Nick, look at me. Look at me. Look okay. at me. Yeah, yeah. We're going to win. <laughs> You're going to be fantastic. Okay, thank you. This is Team Kroll. Okay. Also, we killed a man together six years ago in Nebraska. We wanted to feel like God. Did John Mulaney killed Princess Di? Oh no. Uh. It was so long ago. Who knows what happened in that dark tunnel on that Paris evening? She was England's rose. Hi, I'm Nick Kroll. And I'm John Mulaney. We're here at BuzzFeed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're having trouble with this introduction because we don't exactly know how to describe the fact that we're going to be talking to teens and tweens about sex. Tweens is a term I haven't heard in a while. <laughs> I was a senior, he was a freshman. And it was like, I was the director of my group, and I was like, big, I was like, I'm the fucking director of my college yeah. improv group. Things yeah. are pretty fucking good right now. Yeah. You know, and then <laughs> the track. cast him, and, and within a month, I was like, oh, fuck, man, I'm not funny. We had our big, like, audition day, and there was one guy who auditioned. We really comedically hit it off, and he really had a huge impact on me as a performer, as an artist, and as a human being navigating the world. And that guy was John Mulaney. Um, I am Nick Kroll. And I am John Mulaney. And we are your hosts for tonight's show. And when we say tonight, we mean today, because it's the middle of the day. Is that a dinosaur? <laughs> no, a dog. Raining cats and dogs. <laughs> So, John Oliver, uh -huh. you're so fucking smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what 15 minute think piece do you have about this sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> hey, why don't you fucking take a breath once in a while while you <laughs> criticize our country? God damn it. How you know, dare we have you commercials for a reason, yeah. so we can go to the bathroom. <laughs> How dare you criticize our beloved insurance industry? <laughs> Did John Mulaney win an Emmy? No, I won two Emmys. That's right. <laughs> so how did you two get together to develop the characters of Gil and George? We were at the Strand bookstore one day, which is a... Uh, Do people know the Strand? It's, uh, of course. The Strand is uh, 18 miles of books. And 12 miles of loneliness. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so we were there and watching there were these two older men, uh, both, both buying their copies of uh, Alan Alda's biograph autobiography, Never Have Your Dog Stuffed. And uh, they, true? Yeah, yes. they, <laughs> they both bought their own copies, and then we followed them to a diner where they both sat there and read their, their individual copies of the same book. And we were like, these guys won't share a book, but they probably share a Murphy bed. Yeah. <laughs> what is a tampon? Um, I can handle this. Go ahead. A tampon is a name that I call John. He's only behind my back. Right? Yeah, this is behind his back. It, to his face, I call him a pad. Um, a, a tampon is a uh, it's a it's a object used by women to soak up their menstrual blood that they're passing through their body, which is their period. There's tampons. There's also pads. Uh, I use a diva cup. Your mother was she was wonderful. Oh, my mother, she just, was so dumb. She would take. <laughs> she was a dim. She would now be considered dim. And uh, in today's stuff politically correct face lexicon, in between her huge Polish tits. Let, let me say, she this. was she was such a character. You know, she was so uneducated, let me, and frumpy. Let me, let but me. But she say, had heart. You know, and it had a heart attack. Please, she was, she was in the freak show in Coney please, Island. Please, she was so uneducated. Please, it's not really a phrase. Oh I'm boy, sure. this is a this is, is a per, this is a person, place, or animal. Okay, great. Mm. Wait, what? I've Next never question. been telling you. You blew. I've the never intro. been. No one has ever said anything to me before. <laughs> ever? No. Never. No one's ever said a single word to me. No one has said a word to me for 34 <laughs> years. 
John, you're a very good actor. Thank you, yeah. I know that. Yes. Take your goddamn hands off my son! See, it's easy, it's yeah, pretend. Perfect. And sometimes I will try to do things to make Nick laugh, and sometimes we look at each other, and I think we just realize that we're on Broadway. And this, <laughs> I really mean this, this has happened a couple times, where we look at each other and then we realize what we're doing, yeah. and where, and yeah. we both start laughing. Where did Nick Kroll grow up? Uh, I grew up right in my own pants. Right now. You know what I'm saying? This guy to my right makes me horny as a kid. Why do boys smell so bad? <laughs> okay, this is a great question. They don't know they smell because it's been like, have you ever heard the example of when you put a frog in a pot of water? If you slowly increase, look at me, if you slowly <laughs> increase the water, the heat, the frog won't know it's boiling. Savannah, how was your day today? A man told me to <laughs> boil a frog. But, uh, yeah, I, keep love, talking about I it. love buck slips and paper stuff. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. You know, I go to Papyrus and I'll just furiously jack off. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, they're like, the way that it's, their essence is like, you know when you get to the bottom of a tub of hummus and you can't get in there with a pretzel and you gotta use your fingies to scoop out that last? They're the final guys, thingy hummus scoop yeah. on your finger. Or if, I, your thingy if I may, their essence is, you know when you walk by a travel agency and you're like, what? <laughs> well, when they walk by a travel agency, they go, oh, uh, sure. Yeah, sure yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, this is, a, of course, not this our first not time our on first, Broadway. And we're coming to Broadway. What do you yeah. mean it's not your first time on Broadway? Well, we've, we're, done, we've been we've producers, so directors, so many really? shows. Really? Yeah, like, what shows? Sh we did a show called Pugs. And it was basically it was a cats. Response to cats. It was a response to cats. <laughs> and they're redoing cats this summer. Cats is coming back to Broadway. Oh, so I didn't know that. We're trying to get the pugs together, but these are not 13, 14 year old pugs. I mean, 13. these are real white so faces. This is, and then, so if there are any stairs. Yeah, if there's any stairs, we're totally screwed. What um, this is from Charlie. Yeah, glad you were able to stall all that time to get to that joke. Hey, why don't you shut up? <laughs> why don't you shut up when all's said and done? It wasn't a joke. Why don't you shut up ever? <laughs> I've never talked. I've never talked to such an idiot person in my life. Your day to stroke each other off. Basically, the Spirit Awards are a secret hand job on the beach. But enough about moonlight. Oh, look at that! He's walking away. It's such a good joke. He's walking away. It's a ten. That joke's a ten. Where did Nick? Coral go to college. I went to Georgetown University ah. with a very smart, funny young man named Mike Birbiglia. Why do you get hair on your butt? <laughs> on your butt? <laughs> I think I get hair on my butt because I am, I did a 23 in me, and it turns out that I'm 17% Chia Pet, and so I have hair growing out of all parts of my body. If you follow the direction. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us your name and your breed and your favorite independent film of the year. My name is Bitsy, I'm a Pomeranian, and my favorite film is About Schmidt. Oh, I asked a film of this year. Well, I saw About Schmidt. All right, you guys are in the lead, and it looks like you're gonna really take the win, but yeah. this last round is worth it. Nick Kroll. I'm John Mulaney, and I'm on antibiotics. And my name is Nick Kroll. What year was John Mulaney born? 1982. Boring question. But, can I ask you a question? Absolutely. What year were you born? You know what's interesting? <laughs> 1980. <laughs> a lot of people, um, as especially in the, when you're all of a sudden thrust into sort of sexuality and desire, I think it would be untrue for most people to be like, at some point, be like, where am I on this yeah, sexual where spectrum? Am where am yeah. I falling? Like, why am I not like him? Why am I not? Yeah. Yeah. Like, why am I not purely just going after this one thing? Or what? What does this all mean? And I think. People are, kids are struggling with that at that age. And, and truthfully, as you see people going through your life, like people are figuring it out throughout the rest of their lives. 
Um, and I think we wanted to sort of address that that concept that that sexuality. I don't I don't think we're trying to formally say sexuality is on a spectrum, but I think that like you know it's like I mean I've I've had those questions where I'm like, well, geez, I've been best friends with John for a long time. I love hanging out with him. I don't know if I want to sleep with him, but I really love spending time with him. What does that mean about me? And I'm, I'm I hope John's wife is listening to this. And wh- I don't get the second bar. Why wouldn't? Why are you unclear on whether you want to sleep? <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Shia LaBeouf in French is uh, that guy. Looks like he has crumbs in his bed. I bet when Shia makes a hard left in his car, a bunch of stuff slides around. Yes. The first time I French kissed a girl, I it was a truth or dare, and I jammed my tongue down her throat, and she did not like it. And uh, that girl became my wife, John. <laughs> I did not like it. Someone described it to us as like, oh, oh, hello is like you guys doing who you really are inside, which, and that is like, Nick is a baby and John is an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping Beauty. Sleepwalking. <laughs> The narrative that boys are just stupid, I'm now like, that can't, we can't do that anymore. No, I don't think they're stupid, I think they're bad. Um, and, and men who look up to their fathers too much are ridiculous. I'm just people. so proud of my, my father. My dad, if you're an adult male who sees no flaws in his father, you're an insane person. <laughs> John and I are co-hosting this year's Film Independent Spirit Awards. Which is great, because we love spending every, every waking hour together. Conservatives, we are not in a bubble, okay? We are in a tent uh, filled with fringe artists on a California beach. If this room leaned any further to the left, we would literally topple into the Pacific Ocean. What is the story about? (laughs) Um, it's the it's it's, it's, a, it's crazy that it's like it about? it's about these two guys and they've lost their rent control department and they uh, everything I mean uh, it's hard to explain it's more it's like, like they wrote a play about themselves these right. are two guys who've been in New York forever and they think they deserve a victory lap and they're getting one on Broadway yeah it's like if the like the music uh, in Charlie you know Charlie Rose you know the the yeah. intro music wrote a play yeah. <laughs> 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 